really feel like I had a band that yet had like hit me in the face, like boom, this is my band. And so I think I was waiting for that sort of, that catalyst to give me a bit of direction and purpose with my musical taste. And yeah, hybrid theory was that because as I said, I was very much into sort of like the Slim Shady LP and like stuff like that. And then like there was this band that had this incredible, powerful voice, but then also had like elements of hip hop in it as well. So it was like a nice, um, I don't know, like a nice sort of seamless segue into rock and metal. Chester was the first singer that sounded like he was, he meant what he said, or at least that's how I felt when I would listen to his music. And I couldn't understand how somebody could be like, sound so, I use the word aggressive, but I, I don't, it's like shouty almost, but it was controlled. And like he could do that, but then he could do like the beautiful sort of falsetto and like, just sort of more intimate singing. I think when You, Me at Six do quote unquote like heavier stuff, whether it be like Bite My Tongue or Room to Breathe, subconsciously that comes from that. It's in particular vocally, when I'm like up there, like really giving it some beans, it comes from that. First heard crawling on my friend's Walkman. God, that's showing how old I am, but yeah, my friend's Walkman at, at secondary school. And uh, I just remembered like, just when it says dun 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 dun, and it, when it goes in like straight away, I was just like, oh okay, there's like loads of loud guitars, and I just think that that song is just quite, quite complex. Yet the sentiment is quite simple as well. I guess, it, well, at least the way that I got it was, it was somebody feeling like uncomfortable within where they were and what and how they were meant to process that. And also songs like One Step Closer, like just being like pissed off, but like not being strong enough or hard enough to like do anything about being pissed off, but just being like walking home with your Walkman, just being like, you know, like kicking the leaves really aggressively. Do you know what I, mean? I was that sort of kid. Um, so yeah, they sort of like helped me understand my anger without actually being an angry person. It's very sad and I think we've lost a voice. I don't think we'll have a voice like that ever again because I've never, I haven't seen one since. Uh, I just don't think there is, that's why, that's what makes him so remarkable, like a one of a kind. And even more so, that's what made Linkin Park one of a kind as a band, because there's no other band that even remotely touched what they were doing, or still now wouldn't be able to do that. So, um, yeah, it's a great shame. Nobody.